Hello guys and welcome to episode 20 of the Autorium Smugglers. My name is Siki and as always with me is Bjarni. Hey guys, I'm going to go over Stefan's list here. Uh, he's flying a Darth Vader with engine upgrade, veteran instincts and uh, homing missile. And then he has a Sontid Fell with push the limits, Royal Guard tie, stealth device and hull upgrade. And then we have a Omicron group pilot with Mara Jade and tactical jammer. Yep. Gisli is playing a Buzz of Whisper, Veteran Instinct, Advanced Cloaking Device, Gunner and Fire Control Systems, uh, Crisis Trellis on a Fire Spray with a Heavy Laser Cannon, and a Soul Academy Pilot to fill up his ranks. So let's check out the game, and as you see, it's, it's not the usual Vassal table we are seeing, but our first, first ever tabletop game. What what's going on? Is this an analog video? <laughs> <laughs> analog video, yeah. It is an analog video. So this is just a, a random game we asked the players, Stefan and Gisli, to to play a game with us uh, us recording and noting down things and and here we are. Testing out our video equipment and uh and settings. This is shot at our local store. Yep, Nexus, our local store, has uh, fabulous facilities for the players, uh, free of charge, and it's an, it's an excellent establishment. So the asteroids are down and has all the debris field. Uh, Gisli wanted to have a debris field so that we can could choke on the words, but he doesn't know that we can say it now. Yes, we have been practicing saying the 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 that word so much now that we know exactly how to do it. <laughs> <coughs> so it's not often that we see Darth Vader on the table, uh, not with the uh, that is on his on his ship, and not with the spoiled content of the Raider where the advanced are getting better, but Stefan has been creating havoc with Darth Vader in this in this build. His, his homing results have been truly powerful. So off you are to the first round of the game and let's let's hope for a good one. And kiss this off to the races. <laughs> Um in order to to have the video not too long we, we speed up uh the movements and and everything and cut out the dials and uh, let us know if you think it's too fast or or if you could even make it a bit faster this this video is 35 minutes long uh, but it's an ex exciting game so I hope you'll stay with us I noticed that uh, Stefan had a problem with his his omicron Group pilot, uh, when he lifted it up, it fell off the base. Have you, have you found this problem with the with your bases that they are sometimes falling uh, apart? Uh, uh, not on muscle, at least. No, not on muscle. Not on muscle. <laughs> 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 yeah, my decimeter sucks. He uh, <coughs> just doesn't want to stay in his pack, and I even talked to FFG uh, customer support, and they said that this kind of. Um, thing was within a margin of error or something so they were not willing to do anything about it so if you guys have any have any uh, solutions to uh, what you can do to to fix your fix your stands and and, and please comment in the uh, below and let us know we we are always looking for solutions to make make uh, the environment better for players you sure are so Turn two, and both fleets are turning in. Yeah, heading towards the asteroid fields. Sundry is flying in a tight formation with the shuttle. Excellent flying by Stefan. And 
Paolo Roland and then a boost. So he's, he's covering a lot of angles uh, to, pro to possibly put the hurt on Whisper. Uh, Gisli had the option of choosing initiative or not and he gave it to Stefan because he wanted to move his Whisper after mm, Stefan but Stefan's uh, soon too but uh, in exchange he he will not have clock up when Sundry is shooting at him. A D clock forward followed by a two bank and he let's see if he barrels here or what he does. Mm, yeah, barrel roll out of arc would be better. Yeah, out of the arc of the shuttle. Uh, but it used to take any way to token. Stefan turns in three hard with his waiter and um, uh, he's, he's uh, having a look if if he touched the asteroid there. He's, he's he feels like he's touching it but not overlapping it and and in the end we judged that uh, the asteroid was not involved. So waiter gets his shot on on whisper. Plus Darth Vader has 11 pilot skill. I mean, he shouldn't be touching the asteroid. Yeah, well he's <laughs> <laughs> he will he will just force move with the way if it's <laughs> a trouble. So a target lock and the focus for Darth Vader. These asteroids do not concern me. And we uh, we have the first shot of the game and. Stefan's homing missiles. He three hits and uses the target lock to re roll for a fourth. And uh, the, the card says you can cannot spend evade tokens. So Whispers evade doesn't help him and he's down to down to one hull mm -hmm. after after that shot and uh, he's in serious trouble here. Soon the foul gets two crits and uh, Gisli gets to use his evade token this time. There you see it and uh, Whisper shoots back at Vader. his focus token to take only one one shield off <coughs> the shuttle is deemed not to be in arc so this per escapes this turn at least Ben, do you think, I see Stefan is, is flying his shuttle over, over NAS, so do you think uh, flying a shuttle is X-Wing on easy mode? <laughs> <laughs> a, sh a, shuttle, a shuttle is not easy mode. No, <laughs> not at all. Everything <laughs> but easy mode, it does not have the dial to be easy mode. Nope. We had some comments <coughs> about uh, me uh, talking about Dash last time. I was saying that Dash was easy mode. Well, not all the degree, and and that's fine. No, yeah, of course, of course. I, I, uh, the thing is, when you have a ship with a lot of options from a maneuver, yeah, and you have a lot of ac additional options. When you have a lot of additional options, you, uh, we were we were just laughing at that uh, little camera that came into the interview there. I wish we had some footage from that uh, camera. But somebody apparently forgot to put the tape in. <laughs> 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 no, the quality was poor, and we decided not to use it. But yeah, we're thinking about uh, getting an additional good camera to take some different angles. Yeah, but I quite quite like the top-down view. Yeah, but 
But when you have like additional uh, mo- maneuvers, like uh, if you have uh, engine upgrade or or, or 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 you can barrel roll with a big ship, or so both, or both, it's it's uh, it's just stupendous how much you can move. Uh, yeah, get yourself out of arcs, get yourself into arcs, maneuver yep. away from other ships. It's just you, you can you can potentially do a bad maneuver and and correct it with parallels and boosts. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So that that's why I would that's why I say that large turret ships are kind of easy modes because they have the man- maneuver dials are most of them very very good. Yep, and they don't have to point in a certain t- uh, yeah. direction but but that has that uh, that uh, donut hole that I think the people that disagree uh, that that that's the point they are making that you have to you have to protect the donut hole and that makes him uh, harder to fly than say a decimator or a YT 1300 I think yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yes yes of course but Try to point the shot shuttle at a at a <laughs> whisper or something like that. Yeah. It's it's not possible. <laughs> it's not going to happen. No. So Darth Vader takes a shot that crashes and fails to fails to get anything through. He he's lost a bit bit of teeth uh, having shot his missile. Do we get here? He does not have the same problem and scores four hits and focus. Yeah, is, is <laughs> lucky with his evade dice and only takes two shields of crashes. There is an asteroid involved in this shooting, so soon till we get uh, five dice here, I believe, or four. Uh, doesn't, oh. doesn't he have a stealth device? Yeah, a stealth device, of course. Well, that's fine. And he uses a token to be safe. Yeah. Keeps the stealth device, and but he's he's now without tokens, and the little academy that could may may shoot him. But first, the shuttle. You said try to point the shuttle at Whisper, and Gisli has just done that. Stefan has just just done that. Yeah. <laughs> and. Uh, let's see if he uh, two hits. It's it's bad and yeah, it's out. Gisli um, opted to barrel roll in instead of clogging it. Uh, I think that's this was a mistake. A whisper is a is a goner. Yep. Muerte. And now, now the shuttle, Gisli shuttle. With the focus, he gets three hits, two hits on Sunti fell and. Three hits with the focus, yeah. And he scores three hits, but uh, Stefan has a hull upgrade on his Sundry Fell, so he su- actually survives that. Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> so a little little 12 point ships are not useless at all. They can do quite a lot of damage. Yeah. Especially if you allow them to roam free. Yeah. That's the point. They uh, people think they can't do damage, but uh TIE Fighter at range one with the focus token can easily get three hits in on you know, with yeah. without even being lucky, it's just it should should score mm, two point twenty five hits, so three is not out of the realm of possibility. Yeah. Omicron group pilot brings his uh, wings up. Apparently that's an action. Yeah, we were joking about that while <laughs> we were recording that. <laughs> <laughs> Moving wings was an action. <laughs> we had a laugh about that. It's a free action, so... It's a free action, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't do it twice in the same turn. <laughs> no. Since when, uh, when when tactical jammer uh, is affecting the the base, not the the size of the ship, it's, uh, yeah. it's it doesn't <laughs> really matter, <laughs> and it doesn't have a tactical jammer. Yeah, so. yeah it it actually does have a tactical jammer. Oh yes, it does, of course. Yeah, we had a 
little discussion there about uh, the bump where it was supposed to happen. And the shuttle has managed to pin down, I believe. Yeah, the shuttle and and crashes there. So Darth Vader bumps the shuttle and uh, yep. So he's without his two actions this turn and Crashes has him in, in his arc, I believe. Yeah. But Vader shoots first, not Han. And and as you guys see, these two players are, are very brave. They are doing all the fighting in, in the asteroid. Yeah, no fearless at all. So uh, you don't get any extra points for that, do you? No. no. The guys are trying to see if if the shuttle space is is in the way because of the tactical jammer, but it's not. And but <laughs> crashes only due to the old blanks. Yeah. If crashes would have been turning a slightly more to the right, the base would have been in line. But because yep. the base is in the arc and not in the st yep. shortest distance between That's between true. the bases. Sundir, even though he bumped and had no action, he escapes from the tie. Tie, uh, I got me tie. Uh, does one heart, ignoring the stress. He wants to put the pressure on. It's interesting to sh see how, how Gisli is using the uh, Academy pilot, just staying outside, sort of, just poking. Yeah, poking, it's a, it's a good word. It's ac that's exactly what he's doing. Agro poke. Krasis has to clear his stress there. We, uh, March 8 hands out stress from the shuttle. So that's why he, he had limited options there. Soon he turns in straight in the back arc of crashes and uh, Stefan told us that uh, he wanted to do some damage before going down because he, he doesn't, doesn't feel that he will survive this shot. Turtles up anyway and we'll see. Mm. So a few tokens on 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 some tier. Yep. Yeah, and he has Vader as well to deal with. Oh, it's his Vader. <laughs> yeah, evaded. Yep, that shot was from Vader on the Academy tie. And now soon tier shoots at crashes and takes off. <laughs> Couple of shields. Uh, the last remaining shield and and uh, yeah. hull. So Gisli has uh, eight points of hull left, and uh, Stefan has oh, what eight points of hull and five shields left on his list. Yep. Soon he goes down here and yeah. They are down a ship each. So Tyr was bound to die that turn. Yep. And here we see the points. Um, Stefan has killed 45 of Gisli's point, and Gisli has killed 36 points of Stefan's. So, uh, so nine nine point defect def defect as this. And Gisli is is playing uh, very cautiously with his Tie Fighter. He's taking away the actions most of the time. Although I've started to enjoy the Vassal games, uh, watching them, like because I don't play Vassal myself, I must say it's very, it's a lot of fun 
being on a tabletop again. Yep, I'm I'm really liking it a lot, a lot, and I hope the, the people watching out there like it as well. And uh, we might might do a couple of more so more if if people are interested. Yeah, we have a, a store leak coming up. We might yep. might do some some fun uh, a cup competition. A cup competition. Yeah. Knockout, sixteen players. Uh, started started last Monday and so it's it's gonna be four rounds until we have a winner. <coughs> People can bring a new list each each game so they can mm, if they know if they know what the person they are playing against is likely to bring they can counter that or get countered themselves. Yeah. So Krasis uses his heavy laser gun to great effect. One <laughs> one hit and that was from the reroll. And he waited. Darth, Darth Vader, uh, he waits that. Gisli K turns with his TIE Fighter and Stefan does a stressful too hard to bring the shuttle into the fray. <laughs> a shuttle is not easy mode. <laughs> <laughs> you get stressed for taking a hard two. <laughs> yep. Crash is clearly stressed and mm, it's uh, almost an inevitable that waiter will be in his in his have laser gun on arc and this time he has a focus and and his reroll so um, Stefan is thinking about if he can possibly use various two actions to uh, escape the range and I love seeing this, this on the tabletop game uh, Gisli is doing the barrel for Stefan because he's closer to it and also he's taller uh, Stefan is very small. Yes. No, I'm, I'm joking. That was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sometimes amazed that he just reaches up onto the table. Shut up! This this is evil. <laughs> um, uh, my apologies, Stefan. Uh, let's see if he made it out. Well, he's in range. Uh, yeah. Yep, but there my beautiful hat was. Yeah. He's in range and. Let's see if if the dice has heated up. Your head there reminded me of a movie. Of a movie? Yeah. What movie? The Shining. <laughs> <laughs> so it gets gets a couple of hits in and Darth Vader is down to two hull and um after after Gisli lost his whisper so early I, I fared for him but he's he's gaining. So, Mr. Academy Pilot, what's you gonna do? Oops. I try it again for the shuttle for, for the second time, and <coughs> this time he escapes damage. I. I do I need to say that Dash doesn't mind asteroids? It no, okay, it I'll, I, I'll, it I'll, st I'll stop now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm so happy to see that that, that that people are using ships that are not common. Like Stefan is using Darth, and it doesn't have all the upgrades that are going to be coming with a with a new ex expansion. Yeah, he's also, also using a shuttle that isn't a tomb shuttle. He's yeah. using Mario Jade, and um, you might think he's drunk driving over all these asteroids, but he's not. He's just he's handing out stress. He's he's making Kisti's life difficult with handing out stress with Mario Jade, and yeah, that's why he. That's why he. That's how he's using the shuttle. Of course, if he would have gone a tad bit farther, he would have a range one shot on crashes also. So, 
So it it's not a bad tactic with the shuttle. No, exactly. So here once again on an asteroid, but as as I said, uh, his plan was trying to stress out with Marjade. Oh, crit. Takes a takes a shield there. Shield shield seat crits. And Darth Vader takes a K-turn there to try to get back into the fight. And again you see the co cooperation between players helping each other ma maneuver. Yep. Maneuver measure, stuff like that. Like it a lot. Here they are measuring if the Academy is within range to get stressed by Mara Jade. It is not, but uh, Crash is, is gonna shoot out of, out of his back arc. He keeps <laughs> keeps rolling very poorly. <coughs> it's getting a little bit closer now with the uh, with the uh, hull points. Gisli is at uh, six hull points and uh, Stefan is at, at eight hull points and one shield. Yep, pretty tight game so far. Both have uh, have five fire firepower, and uh, and uh, Stefan has four evade dice, and uh, Gisli has five. So uh, the odds are slightly in Gisli's favor. Well, in that regards. Yeah, if you if you just total down the the math and uh, odds, but. Really takes a target lock and focus, but uh, as I pointed out previously, Gisli is, is playing conservatively with his with his academy tie and is taking an away action on it. Invader shoots. Yep. One hit. One evade. Two hits. The, so the evade, oh. evade token source him well there. Yeah. <coughs> Invaders down to one hull. After that, heavy laser cannon shot from yeah. crashes. The shuttle is kind of out of it at the moment because <coughs> it's gonna have to yeah, stress, stress to get back. <coughs> to I think it may be an arc of crashes. Yeah. Yeah, probably. And even though right, there's a rock through asteroid. Yeah. That's still a shot. Yeah. Every point matters. Every point matters. Raider decides to leave the party. Hmm. Takes a three hard and the boost to get out of arc of both, both, of, them, both yeah. of them. Very good flying by Stefan. Now these guys started playing uh, around the time uh, X-Wing became popular in Iceland. Yeah, um, like uh, what a year ago, almost. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> we were a bit slow to to start in Iceland and yeah, start around uh, the release of Wave Three, I think. Yeah, we've been watching. I've been looking at the boxes in the in the store, thinking, oh, I want to try this. 
I don't yeah. have anybody to play with. Same with me. <coughs> and we decided to go into this, and then uh, we went full force. Yep, uh, built a huge community uh, in, in a matter of of a few few months. Yeah, and it's still growing. It's a lot of fun seeing yep. more people joining us and uh, people from all over. That's true. We have. Uh, it's it's such a great game. Yeah. And it's not just gamers that are joining us. It's people that just enjoy yep. Star, Star Wars. Wars. Yep. Star Wars. True. And I mean, some of the guys have been checking out the other Fantasy Flight's uh, miniature games. Yep. And uh, but most of them are 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 in this because mm. of because of uh, Star Wars. Yep. I think uh, the brand uh, draws attention for yeah. sure. So Crisis does not have a shot, so the only shots are Academy versus Shuttle. The shuttle. Oh no, the shuttle is on a rock, so oh it yeah. doesn't shoot at all. But still on a rock he evades. Yep. Yes, sure does. Academy takes a long three. Easily teaching Stefan how to maneuver. We were getting a little stressed here because uh, battery on camera was <laughs> running low. Actually, this is uh, this footage is after we <laughs> stopped the game for half an hour to <laughs> recharge the battery. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and we were we were fearing it would uh, fail us again because we were we were using the Wi-Fi on the. GoPro to see if everything was okay and it was draining the battery pretty fast. Yeah. So note to self, turn off the Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> now at our store we have set up now a, a, a facility where we can just attach the GoPro to the ceiling and uh, we are ready to roll. Yeah, we, we've got permission to fasten up a bracket so we are, we are good to do more of those tabletop battles and then I'm pretty excited. <coughs> Interesting to see that we are at six all hull. Stefan has six hull and uh, Gisli has six hull. Yep, I, again, the evade token saves Academy's life. <laughs> so <laughs> I think this is the third time. Uh, crosses with a monster shot. Ooh. Oh, and no he waits, so Won't the shuttle <laughs> takes, of course, a direct hit, and it it dies here. A horrible death. Yep, five five hull points uh, in one go. Ah. That's, that's pretty good. That's a rather big swing. Yeah. So Gisli has taken the lead here, 45. Uh, Points killed by Stefan to to sixty one points killed by Gisli. And Stefan is flying with his one hull point on Darth Vader. Yeah. It doesn't look very good. Yeah, and I think I think this sh shows a bit why why the tie advanced uh, badly needs the fix that is coming because. Uh, his first shot was great on Whisper while he had the missile, and since then he has been shooting two ties. Mm, he gets three now because of his range, but let's see if that does any damage. The minimum amount of turns that Stefan needs to, to take down his opponent is, is three turns. Yeah. So it's probably never going to happen. Yeah. And the yeah, Academy ties. Ty takes a pot shot at Vader, uh, gets in a hit, hit and. Stefan rolls no and that's the game. Boom, that's the game. Game over. The victory to Gisli.
So this has been the Outer Room Smugglers. My name is Iggy. And I'm Piatti. See you guys later. Yep, thank you for watching. Bye bye. Dum 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 dum